Four things to be revealed in Game of Thrones Season 7. Who is Danny really? Throughout A Song of Ice and Fire, Daenerys Targaryen is often conflicted. Understanding that her actions have an effect on so many people, she rides a line of morality. Daenerys often seems unsure and at times even fearful of her future, often thinking about her remote childhood and a house with a red door. Throughout the book she is visited by a masked woman in a lacquered mask named Quaith. Quaith implores Daenerys to remember who she is. Judging by Danny's countenance in the recent trailers, she appears to be largely melancholy, perhaps uncertain if she has taken the right path. When Quaith tells Daenerys to remember who she is, she is telling her not to simply remember her past, but to remember who she was meant to be. Dragons plant no seeds. Perhaps Daenerys was only meant to conquer and not to rule. In Season 7, Danny may discover her true role in the grand game. Remember who you are, Daenerys. The dragons know. Do you? The true extent of Bran's magic. Bran Stark's power has grown immensely since Season 1. Initially, he could only warg his direwolf in his dreams. As his power grew, he could warg even more creatures, and even people. With the addition of Season 6, Bran has learned to reach throughout the ages by use of the Weirwood Tree. What is unclear, however, is how much Bran's prophetic Greenseer ability may have grown. With the Weirwoods offering Bran access to the wisdom of the past, and the power of the last Greenseer offering Bran a glimpse into the future, Bran is effectively the Kisatz Haderach of A Song of Ice and Fire, the one who can be in many places at once. In the 1960s, Frank Herbert wrote an epic series of sci-fi novels called Dune. In Dune Messiah, Leto Atreides II is born, with all the memories of his ancestors and the ability of prescient vision. In other words, he could look into the past and the future. This made him the master of fate. Because of his abilities, he could effectively set humanity on whatever course he deemed to be correct. Leto ends up alienating himself from the rest of humanity and slowly over many years turns into a sandworm in order to extend his life so that he can better shape the path of humanity. Very similar to Bloodraven in the books, who becomes a part of the Werewood Tree extending his life, allowing him to further shape the path of humanity. Will Bran be resigned to this same fate? With the addition of even being able to modify the past, Bran is a very formidable force. In Season 7, we may discover more about Bran's destiny as humanity's guide. The Fate of Nymeria Now that Arya is back in Westeros, it makes perfect sense to bring back Nymeria. Book readers will know that Nymeria is alive and well, the leader of a super pack of wolves in the Riverlands. But in the show, Nymeria has not been mentioned since Season 1. If Nymeria does show up in the show this season, it's likely that the super pack would not be there. If Nymeria does have companions, it would be a much smaller pack. The show has also never gone into Arya's warging abilities. In the books, she wargs into Nymeria's body, even from across the narrow sea. If Nymeria and her pack show up in Season 7, they would have to find a way to do it without Arya's warging ability being present. Dire wolves are extremely rare south of the Wall, so it is unlikely that even in the show that Nymeria has gone unnoticed all this time. She may have even bred or produced a litter of her own. Sadly, Arya could also find out that Nymeria is dead. A dire wolf south of the wall, prowling the riverlands, is dangerous to the people there. Nymeria may have been hunted by the common folk. In Season 7, we may discover the true fate of Nymeria. The Motivations of the Night King We understand very little about why the White Walkers are rising again. There is vague evidence that in the past, humanity and the others shared some form of treaty that ended the war millennia ago. If this is the case, then why are the others rising again from the land of always winter and attacking humanity once more? Was the treaty invalidated somehow? Did humanity breach its contract? George R. R. Martin has often expressed his disdain for mindless villains, so it is unlikely that the others are killing simply to kill. Their motivations must be as complex as the motivations of their human counterparts. In Season 7, Likely through Bran, we may truly understand what exactly the Night King is after. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more ideas of Ice and Fire.